Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is my third orc blog, and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, the most recent thing I did was I got the heavy weapons boys. They come with um, big shooter and rocket launcher. And I have one painted so far, the big shooter, as you can see. And this one I was going to add to my shooter boy squad. And then this one I was going to add to my tank buster squad. But um, I don't know if I'll keep them on there because... I've heard from um, an orc forum that some of the new orc models that are coming out are going to be the tank busters, brand new ones. I think they're going to be plastic, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but I saw the Games Day pictures from UK for them, and th so those are some of the models that are going to be coming out. There's also rumors about a lot of other ones so pretty excited about that and also the mine it came with a different head just um a bare head and I wanted to go along with the theme with my tank buster boys as they have a little more um like armor and stuff because they have to, you know, go really near tank, close to tanks, blow them up and stuff. So I gave them a normal Orc Boys helmeted head. And that came out nice. I only have this one primed right now. But this is a completed one. And also, I... To make my battle wagon game legal, you need to add, um, like, crewmen to the guns. So I converted some grats again. These are kind of cool, though, because, you know, it looks like their hand's actually on the trigger and their hand's in the air. I had to put them so they were, like, standing on barrels, though, because they weren't tall enough. Here's the other one. It basically looks the same. I just thought that looked good. And then here's my one for the flame thrower. He has like this kind of rope that's in there and he pulls it. Because his stance went along good to make him look like he's pulling a rope. And then right now I have one Garat Rigger. Where he just looks like he's hanging on, holding something that looks like a hammer or a hatchet. So he looks pretty good. So, yeah, also if you're wondering what goblins I use to convert, they're from the Lord of the Rings Mines of Moria set. Comes with like 24 um, goblins. And they're fairly easy to convert. You gotta chop off their swords, and a few times I had to cut off their legs, like in this driver. His legs are repositioned. And stuff like that but you know if you need like some kind of gunners or something these guys actually work out really well and he looks like he can be in a pose for pulling a rope you know and this is actually that little hammer type thing